Welcome to Simply Bitcoin. We break down the news from Twitter, the daily fail, meme review, software releases, and the websites by plebs or plebs. Drop us a like, subscribe. We're going to the numbers. Let's do this. All right. At the time of this recording, the block height is 681,961. The Bitcoin price, 54,020. Chain rewrite days, 638. Total lightning capacity, 1,246.85. Bitcoin versus gold market cap, 8.71%. Sats per dollar, we don't want to see that climbing, but it's climbing 1,851. Eek, eek, boring. Bill, I mean, Bill, Bill? Bill? Sure, Bill, why not? Why not? Phil, I saw, would it surprise you? Because it feels like it was 50 years ago, but would it surprise you that we were at an all-time high only 20 days ago? Feels like a lot longer than that, my friend. It feels like it was 50 years ago, man. It's so oh. funny. This point time so screws with your head. Like, it, it's funny. Like, we talk about events that happened two years ago. Like, they happened like 10, 15 years ago. You remember when we did that lightning trust chain? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Like that was old school. Like you know what? That was two years ago. Okay? It's crazy. Have you seen that meme, by the way, of of the dude that's like that's like uh, twenty six years old and survived uh, survived yeah. the Bitcoin bear market? It's like this old man. <laughs> it's yeah, true. it's true, dude. It's true. Time flies. Yeah. But anyways, Phil, okay. it's time for it. The daily fail. All right, Nico is going to appreciate this daily fail. He'll probably be able to tear it apart way worse than me. But here we go. So, you know, we follow Arthur Van Pelt, right? And uh, anyway, so th there was obviously some fool having an argument, <laughs> the BSV hash rate. And here is our daily fail, Mr. Stoned Trooper. Hash does not secure the network. A and of course, Arthur making fun of him <laughs> right back. Um, so look, unfortunately for him, hash does secure the network. Okay. And because it has to do with, number one, it has to do with the amount of computing power, okay? It has to do with the amount of money that's being spent on that computing power. It also has to do with the amount of energy that is being thrown at Bitcoin, okay? So which means that you would have to, if I'm not mistaken, at least come up with that amount of energy, if not even more, to overtake it, which is, according to our calculations, not possible. <laughs> so... Anyways, I, I just I, I thought it was so funny that like that was his response that the hash rate doesn't secure the network. It's like, no, no, it does. And and this is why you're a BSV bag holder. And, and this is why you're failing because you don't understand that. That's what this is why you fail. Anyways, dude, Phil, you're absolutely right. Uh, very well said, uh, man. He clearly doesn't. <laughs> he clearly doesn't understand, dude. He clearly doesn't understand. And it sucks because the moment he does understand, he's going to dump all that PSV and put it into Bitcoin because it's a direct correlation, dude. It's exactly what you said, Phil. You said it perfectly. It's like, man, the hash rate represents the amount of hardware that's literally securing the Bitcoin network. If you want to attack the Bitcoin network, you're going to have to match that, right? For for an extended period of time, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's always just more profitable mine. But it just it just goes to show, dude, anyone who's holding Bitcoin Cash, anyone who's holding BSV, as a matter of fact, anyone who's holding any shitcoin, your shitcoin, to borrow what Sailor says, is thermodynamically inferior to Bitcoin, right? It just has less hardware securing and backing up that network. So yes, hash rate is a direct, it, it is the security, it is. You're such a fool. Oh my God. It's not everything, right? It's like, it's like the nodes come into place and also the miners, right? So it's, it's both, but it's just like, man, oh, amazing cool. fail, Phil. It made yep. me laugh. That was a good one. I know. I thought that was funny too. Dude, it was, it was, per and no likes, no likes, nothing, zero. No likes, <laughs> nobody's like, yeah. Dude, it, staying poor. It, total. That guy is going to have fun staying poor. <laughs> but anyways, Phil, it's time for the daily meme review. All right, everybody. The meme for today is brought to us by Phil and I disagree on the pronunciation. So it's spintate or how do you say it, Phil? Or spintate. Spintate. But it's not spine because there'd be an E after the end. So it's spintate. You're asking the wrong person. I don't know how to read, Phil. I know. Anyways, spintate. <laughs> Hoddle. 
Hoddle. Anyway, There's definitely. Great memes. Follow that account. Absolutely hilarious. Some great I toxic stuff. We love it. Anyways, continue. Absolutely. Fellow pleb. Definitely yep. a fellow pleb. Let's check it out. I finally found it after 15 years. The scroll of truth. All, all <laughs> Alcains are centralized. <laughs> Man, this meme perfectly applies to your fail. Again, totally by accident. It just always happens. But man, phenomenal meme. And because it's a phenomenal meme, I'm going to give it a phenomenal score of a cabbage that you can't cabbage. see because we have a green screen. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I didn't realize the cabbage did that. Hold on a second. See mine? Oh, yeah. There it oh. goes. Interesting. No, no, but that's not my score. Anyways, um, <laughs> that's your score. I just wanted to see if it because I didn't realize it did it. Anyways. Um, okay. It's cabbage so, yeah, camouflage. Was... Cabbage camouflage. Camouflage cabbage? Could be a product. <laughs> anyway, um, so look, I, I thought it was a great meme. Totally made me laugh. Told a great little story. Don't have to be a Bitcoiner to get it. Well, maybe a little bit. So anyways, I'm giving it a Bitcoin coaster. Oh. Yep. Stepping it up. Where are we? Are we? Are we repping it up? Are we? Are we? Are we? Are we going back? I'm just letting. I'm just letting you know that this score is better than your score. <laughs> Whatever those scores are, Man. this one's better. Stay tuned, because tomorrow I'm gonna have a surprise for Phil. But anyways, Phil, it's time for it. The Daily News, sponsored by Crypto Cloaks. All right, everybody, a taproot. We're going to stay on top of this until, you know, we'll see what happens. But a taproot update. We've been covering it for the last couple of days. But check this out. In the first day, we're like, Phil, the sky's falling. And then yesterday, it looks like more miners warmed up to it. And it looks like today, even more miners have warmed up to it. Let's check out the mining pools. 58% of all mining pools are now signaling to, uh, for Taproot, which is freaking awesome, right? And a couple days ago, it wasn't like that. But the most bullish news out of this, Phil, check this out. Ant Pool and Poolin, which are some of the biggest Chinese mining pools, have signals, right? I was I, I was very worried with Ant Pool because man, they were they were they were uh, Ant Pool Bitmain, not so much anymore because Jihan has left, right? But they were the ones behind Bitcoin Cash, right? So mm -hmm. it's crazy now they're signaling for Taproot. This is awesome, right? Super 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 bullish news. Phil, what are your thoughts? Three days ago, man. Three days ago, we we were seeing we were seeing people like it looked like they were crying on Twitter, you know, like what's going on, you know, how come there's no traction and all this stuff. And it's like, look, you give it a couple of days, we're at fifty eight point seventy four percent. That's huge. You, I mean, people people see like, I don't know, maybe I'm just a sucker for being amazed by this, but like, this is just happening all over the world, right? Like. These people are making their own decisions based on their own incentives, and it's happening this quickly. I mean, you should you should be impressed. I don't know. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's super awesome. It's it's it, yeah, it, you're it's cool. you're exactly right, dude. It's all in a decentralized manner. Freaking epic. Super mm -hmm. cool. Phil, check this out. I thought we've what? covered so many bad ways to spend your Bitcoin, but apparently. There's worse. There's more. Uh, set the buys or set the bees, whatever you set want to bees. pronounce. Set the bees, right? To accept Bitcoin and, and shitcoin for an upcoming auction of Banksy's painting. You know this painting, Phil. It's actually very famous. It's oh my called gosh. Love is in the Air. This yeah. painting, you could buy it in Bitcoin, which, like I said, is a terrible way to spend your Bitcoin. It's estimated to sell between three and five million dollars. The auction for anyone who's interested in spending your coin for absolutely no reason starts May 12th. It's really cool, right? Again, it's Sotheby's is the some of the biggest auction luxury house in the world, right? So the fact that they're accepting Bitcoin, not that it makes a difference. Honey Badgers doesn't care, but man, could you have imagined this five years ago? No. <laughs> Phil. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, it's exactly right. It's a good thing. It's it's nice to see that auction houses are warming up to, you know, to Bitcoin. Um, but at the same time, I totally agree. I obviously would not be spending three to five million dollars on, you know, a picture that I've seen 50 million times over and over again used as Bitcoin as a Bitcoin meme. So <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You know, I mean, good for him that uh, he or her or whoever they are. I, I don't know who Banksy is, um, you know, good for that person, you know, being able to uh, monetize their work that way. That that's excellent. Um, 
good for them too if they're able to get somebody to part with their Bitcoin for that. I mean, hopefully, you know, uh, Banksy will be smart enough to hang on to the Bitcoin. But whatever. That would, that would be such a legendary move, bro. It would you know, be a legendary move. Selling your move. art for three million Bitcoin. For, sorry, three three million Bitcoin. Holy crap. Um, even that gave me boost bumps. No, for three million dollars worth of Bitcoin, man, that's that's pretty epic. But Phil, check this out. It looks like New York State wants to have fun staying poor. Uh, this just came out. This is an article, but it was a prelude to what is it? What is actually going on in legislation? Bitcoin mining in upstate New York is an environmental concern. Let's oh, let's yes. check out the article. By yes. next year, owners of gas-fired power plant on Seneca Lake hopes to be producing enough electricity to power eighty-five thousand homes. Again, but much of that electricity won't turn on lights in living rooms. It will instead stay on site at the plant in Dresden, powering up 27, that's a lot of miners, 27,000 computers that will run 24 hours a day to snag increasingly rare virtual currency called Bitcoin. I'll get back to that in a sec, Phil, but look how serious it got. A new bill on the floor on the New York State Senate aims to prohibit crypto mining centers from operating until the state can assess their environmental impact. New York state, ha you're going to have fun staying poor. Yeah. And just to debunk this article completely, the reason they're not sending that electricity to power the, those homes, it's because it's more economically viable, right? To power Bitcoin miners. Because if that electricity was actually in demand, Phil, then they wouldn't be mining with it. That, that, it would be it, too expensive. That's what so I was like, say. I'm like, ah. they, what, what homes was it? Was it going to go to homes if there wasn't Bitcoin miners? Of course no, not. of course not. It's, it's, it's so disingenuous. Uh. And it's like, man, New York, while you have fun staying poor, Texas is going to pick up all your BS. Yeah. So how Texas is becoming a mecca for Bitcoin miners. Awesome article by Bitcoin Magazine. But check this out. Compared to many U.S. states, Texas energy rates are inexpensive, right? Although there are a few states that are slightly cheaper. But this is where this is where the 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 I've, I can't think of a word. But it's the nature of Bitcoin mining that miners seek out, right? What I was saying, yep. seek out extremely cheap sources of energy, which tend to be stranded, renewable and fossil fuels like natural gas, oil, flaring and venting. Right. So in the case of New York. Obviously, it's not coming from, you know, renewable energies, but at the same time, it must be extremely cheap because that's the only way it makes sense to mine Bitcoin, right? So look, again, Phil, it's like, it's what we've been saying this. We've been saying this for so long now, for so many months. It's like the countries, the states, the cities that adopt Bitcoin are going to flourish and the states that don't are going to have fun staying poor. It's really that black and white. It's just really is, right? So Man, you know, uh, New York sucks for you. Texas, it looks like Texas is going to thrive. Anyways, Phil? Yeah, man, New York is looking really hostile these days. You know, there's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on there. And you're also hearing news of like a lot of people, you know, the people that can afford it are just leaving straight up jetting out of there. Um, it, especially, look, especially in, in, in these times and what's going on, like you want to be putting all the economic incentives and chances on your side and look you know this is the wrong battle you know there are actual there are actual companies out there that are you know really causing harm if you really want to go and be an environmental you know warrior and you can really be going after them like bitcoin is actually producing something positive for humanity and at the same time that's a complete bullshit article OK, because that electricity wouldn't be going to new homes or existing homes that are not getting electricity. It's just a total BS narrative. And I honestly, we just see these articles over and over again. It's so tiring. Dude, but it's 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 a BS narrative to the point that it's actually gotten New York's legislator to react. Right. Like that narrative is so strong that you have people in the New York state, you know, whatever it is, Senate or whatever yeah, you want to call it. Don't know shit. That that are don't know shit. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's burning. the, It's boiling the oceans. It's like, man, but the oceans hey, are boiling because of Bitcoin. Look, Texas will pick up, you know, your stuff. They'll take you'll happily take your business. Right. And you're seeing this all over the world. You're seeing this when countries ban Bitcoin. But check this out. You see another country that's open to it. Uh, but Phil, check this out. Speaking of the strong incentives of Bitcoin, this awesome tweet from 
documenting Bitcoin. I'm holding in the joke that I want to say because I've said it two days in a row, right? But it's an awesome account. Definitely go follow documenting BTC or documenting Bitcoin. Uh, check out the suite, the largest e-commerce and payments ecosystem in Latin America, Mercado, or Mercado Libre, now accepts Bitcoin for the real estate marketplace. So Mercado Libre is like the eBay of Latin America, right? And you you think you're like, look, if Mercado Libre starts accepting Bitcoin, you know, it's it'd be kind of weird for eBay not to. Well, it looks like eBay is going to as well. There's a tweet by Matt O'Dell, and it's a clip from CNNBC eBay CEO, <laughs> Matt's uh, take on this, e e eBay CEO gives the lamest answer even when directly asked about cryptocurrency. Let's play the clip. Yeah, you know, one of the great things about our managed payments is we're expanding the types of payments that we take. So we now take Apple Pay and Google Pay, more chores for buyers. We'll continue to look at other options like cryptocurrency. You know, one of the great things about eBay is when... Okay, so that's, you know, that's a short clip, but you could tell, right, that he absolutely hates saying that. <laughs> And other options, <laughs> you know, he doesn't want to say that. But like we've been saying, the incentives of Bitcoin are too strong. If his competitor, uh, Mercado Libre in Latin America, starts accepting Bitcoin, eBay's not going to have a choice or they're going to get left behind. They know that. They know that and they hate that. <laughs> As you can tell, the CEO does not want to say that, but he said anyway. Phil, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, look, you could totally tell that um, you could totally tell that that he was dying inside trying to say what he was saying uh, mercado libre is actually pretty huge that's actually a really you know I, I think that that's a pretty big announcement and it's just again you know we're seeing more traction in different ways right like the the tentacles of bitcoin just reach out further and further and these people they cannot resist those incentives like they have no choice so one by one like we've said you know they all they, they all end up falling in line they all end up having to you know having to sit there learn about Bitcoin and realize, and by doing that, indirectly, they end up learning that if they didn't already know it, that their money's crap. <laughs> so, Absolutely. You know, Man. Kind of, uh, it's kind of like a hidden, it's, it's like an Easter egg that Bitcoin offers. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's like, it, 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 it takes you in by greed. And then it's like, hey, but while you're in there, you're like, whoa, wait a second. The money's broken. But yeah, man, it's just glorious to see it's that funny. every single person, company, institution, it's like you're humbled by Bitcoin. You resist, you get yep. wrecked. Like, that's just the way it is, you know? And then if you adopt it, you flourish. But it's like, it's what we've been saying, Phil, these egomaniacs. It's like, they hate it. They hate it. They They're so used to having that advantage in the fiat system. They can't even imagine being on a level playing field with everybody no. else. That's right. The system's been too good to them. Oh, you know? Man. It's it, but hey, listen, we have first row seats. This is awesome. Hold on to your butts. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> Anyways, Phil, there was a software release today. Why don't you tell everybody about it? Software releases. All right, everyone. It looks like it looks like we have Phoenix Phoenix Wallet version 1.4.11 that was released, and that is down below in the show notes. Awesome. Thank you, Phil. I've never heard of that wallet, but I it feel was... like we've announced previous updates for it, but yeah, I've never tried it either. There's a few wallets I really want to try. Yeah, it sounds sounds really interesting. I, I got the software update from the the no BS bitcoin telegram chat which i yes. definitely recommend we have the link down in the description but anyways guys you know what to do if you enjoyed the show smash that like button <laughs> smash it <laughs> and i always see phil take it so it's funny <laughs> one smash uh but uh yeah so and guys if you want to continue hearing the bitcoin news from the perspective and the catastrophic fiat and shitcoin fails definitely consider subscribing and of course we will see you tomorrow for another episode of simply bitcoin <laughs> <laughs>